So for the first time ever, openly transgender athletes are competing. Canadian women's soccer player Quinn became the first openly transgender athlete to compete. When Team Canada faced off against Japan, Quinn wrote on Instagram, quote, I feel proud seeing Quinn up on the lineup and on my accreditation. accreditation. I feel sad knowing there were Olympians before me, unable to live their truth because of this world. Transgender female weightlifter Laurel Hubbard from New Zealand is also competing and transgender cyclist Chelsea Wolf is a reserve on the U.S. women's BMX freestyle team. Now, transgender athletes have been allowed to participate in the game since 2004. A lot of you did not know that, but this is the first time that they are doing so openly. Um, Erica, you're smiling. Yeah, because um, you, you just made the point. A lot of you did not know that, and now you want to be all offended. Um, I'm not going to talk about biology because that's not my lane, but I will talk about representation because it's very reminiscent of don't ask, don't tell, as if by not asking and not telling, then these people no longer exist in these spaces. Um, it's important that we have representation, and I know that there's a lot of controversy, but it's interesting that this controversy should have been probably launched about mm, 16, 17 years ago. So you can keep it now. It's tough to follow that with, yeah. a, with an opposing point of view. <laughs> but uh, here's, my th here, here's the thing. When you talk about this immediately, people are got their fingers on the keyboard and they're like, he's transphobic or whatever the word is. And no, you have to have this conversation because we're not talking about all transgender people. We're talking about males that trans, that trans, transition thank you yes. I'm trying to walk tightly here I don't blame you you're doing a good job yeah. um, to female so male to female right. and then they compete we're not talking about the other way because it's never happened right so we do have to go back and look this is very new to us to say that and put it on the table yes we need representation I'm proud of what's going on but we need to make things fair if they're unfair we need to correct it, it doesn't mean you're transphobic it means we need to right a wrong that we made whether it's bone density whether it's how much biology goes into if you go through Puberty, does that affect you? Even height. So, so it, there's a lot of things yes. that's going there. I know we're running out of time. This is a very sensitive subject and people get very angry right. about it. But you have to have that conversation without being labeled. And I just want to wrap it up because this is important to note. So you, this is evolving. So you have a lot of different people in the International Olympic Committee who are making sure that it's fair since 2004. Meaning you've had to have transitioned for four straight years, taking all the hormones. Your testosterone levels have to be even to your playing field for one full year before you can compete at the Olympic to make it fair. However, there's still a lot of data out there where they're trying to almost look at it sport by sport mm. because height even, they're thinking, okay, what about you know the, the, the biology of just being a male and your height? So the IOC or the experts, they are making sure that it is as fair as fair can be. So I think we just need to trust in them. And if they and say it's fair, then I'm gonna say more kudos to them. Also, and there's one uh, sociological point to this too, and it's societal, I should say, is that people are transitioning early earlier. Yeah. So that's going to change like the, whether you the were pre or post pubescent that's going to make a big difference as well and like you said to bring the scientific nerd into this we're just gathering data right. on people in our society transitioning at 12 rather than 21. Great and it's points. a big difference in terms of your bone density, your height, etc. Great points.